Hey everybody, this is Blaze, and today I'm here with Site360X. What's up, Site? Uh, not much. You know, working, stuff. Oh, I see. So, uh, what you been doing recently? Um, even though I haven't gotten lines for Slashing Wisdom, I've worked on it slightly. I, uh, with the new hacks coming out with subspace stages, so I, I could make the scene a lot better. Right now, I'm just waiting on lines. I gotta work on mine. You know, the main character has so many lines. I'm just too lazy. Uh, I get you. Uh, speaking of Sashi Wisdom, uh, what made you inspired to make the series? Um, it's obvious, kind of, but I'm gonna go with Kingdom Hearts and Gurren Logan. <laughs> Kingdom Hearts and Gurren Logan, huh? Yeah. Like, mostly, mostly re-chain of memory. Ah, I see. So, like, that just inspired you to make a series, huh? Yep. Like, the so, like, like tell me about the concept. I mean, like, are you going to use, like, the concept of those two, like, of that anime and that video game, or what? Well, you mean the concept of Slashing Wisdom? Yeah. Well, basically, it's a story of the main character, Ace, and um, as you can, as you saw, he's been li he's been living a lie for not the unknown years, which I will not say. Basically, he's he's uh he thought he always lived there forever with uh, a uh, with uh, Kurt and Alvel, but he learns that it was a lie, and then he has to go find what his what really happened, what like what really happened before, and so he can re recover his memories, kind of. Yeah, that's pretty much it. He meets. Some old friends, some old enemies in the way, and blah blah blah. Hmm. So, uh, do you plan on like making like how many episodes? Um, I think maybe twelve or something. Twelve, I think. It's just it's kind of short. Oh, I see. Twelve episodes only. So it's just gonna be one one season, or um, well. Uh, a friend of mine told me to, for a good series, you gotta think of the first season first. Like, I, if, if there is going to be a second season, I should not think about it right now. I should just think of the first season. Don't even think of making a second season. Focus on the first one. Then when you're done, then you can think of ideas for the second season. But so far, I have no idea for a second season because I'm not allowed to think about it. I see. Hmm. But, all right. Uh, what other projects are you working on, if you are? Um, I'm working on a secondary series. Dum dum dum. Oh, uh, um, series. Huh? It's it's comedy. It's a comedy. Because uh, flashing wisdom is so serious. Uh, it's gonna be Mishima, right? Yeah, it's gonna be Mishima. Right. Uh, I'm not gonna go into the details, but I can at least tell you who the main character is gonna be. All right, go ahead. It's Ganondorf. Oh my! That's not the... not not a not a created character. This like Gandorf called Fluffy. No, it, his 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 name is Gandorf. He is the Gandorf character. Oh wow! Interesting. Uh, what's it going to be called? It's going to be called the Evil Samaritan. Hmm. Very nice. Other than like Ushima, uh, you also been doing some voice acting, have you? Yes. Uh, what's one of your favorite gigs? Um, so far, I've been trying to get a lot of Roy, lot of Roy parts because, uh, for some reason my voice is fitting for Roy's, and you know how Tiger is. Tiger is a Bowser, and uh, like he's he's a well-renowned Bowser. A bunch of a bunch of people are good in some parts. I want to be the Roy. I want to be like, hey, this guy's a good Roy. So I like I like doing Roy's a lot because usually Roy's are hot-headed. And I like voicing hot-headed characters. And they have red hair, so yeah. Huh? I see. That's interesting. That's cool. Would you like to uh, answer some fan questions? Um. Well. Would it surprise you if I said yes? Not really. <laughs> exactly. Oh, bring him on. All right. Time for fan mail, I guess. <laughs> Chubba King one two three asks, since when was red your favorite color? All right. Hi, Zach. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um, red. Well, ever since I created the side character, I kind of have to say. At first, my favorite color was uh gr was blue, 
then green, but then it was red. Ever since I made a character with red hair, like my character site, the character thingy, that you will see soon. Um, I I only had uh three col uh four colors with me, which were red, light blue, um dark blue, and the uh, skin color. So I drew a character and I made him have red hair, and ever since then. Every time, I, uh, sorry. Every time I had a, I had a, a box of pencils. The color red would always be the shortest pencil because I would use it so much to make that character. And then I just got like, I just got a huge ass love for red. That's pretty cool. All right, SB Former asks, if you like to add anything with maple syrup, what would it be? Hmm. That's Scotty, isn't it? Yep, it's Scotty. Uh, of course. My gosh. I'm going to be extremely serious with this. I would put, like, apples, because apples are red. <laughs> nice. Alright. Last one, from Clonoa. What? Why, only three? You guys? <laughs> what? Either way, you're the first person to actually be able to answer, you know, fan questions and all. Uh. That's... You should be honored. Yeah, Alright, what's the question? Alright, can I ask, what got you into children's card games? What the hell? <laughs> okay, alright, alright. Um... Uh, my friend that lives downstairs for me, I live in a block apartment, he had Yu-Gi-Oh cards one day, and, uh, and uh, he was playing with a friend, so then apparently he um he was playing and it was windy outside and he lost one of his cards. So I went to pick it up. It was a summon skull. So then I was like, hey, you can have this back. And he said, hey, I don't need it. You can keep it. So then I kept it and I was like, oh my god, I need to go buy cards. So then I bought a deck and I put a summon skull in it and he was like my A sponsor for like a week. Oh, that's... <laughs> I got me to Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, very nice. All right, so uh, would there be anything else you would like to share with my viewers? Okay, okay. This, this, this video will probably get like a million views. So I'm going to say this. Send questions to the next poor soul that has to do this. No, I'm kidding. Okay. But really, <laughs> send questions to the next one. I know I will. Because fan questions are very nice to have. It makes you show that it has a lot of... Uh, the, the, the person that's doing this has a lot of fans. And also, watch Slashing Wisdom if you have it, because I need it. Yeah. Alright, thank you for that, Sai. Well, if you have any more questions for Sai or me, just uh, comment below or go to his channel, and remember to subscribe to this guy. And Sai, thank you so much for being on my show. No problem. Alright. Well, this is Blaze saying, laters. Ciao.